Check one. Hello, party people. This is Michael Martin from Ultimate Pool Guy and MPS Pools, and welcome back to my YouTube channel and another one of these podcast-style classroom setting-type pool videos. For today's work, we are going to be dissecting and taking a closer look at the pool filter options that are being offered from Pentair Pool Products, namely the FNS Plus, the Clean and Clear Plus, and then also their Quad DE line of filters has a seriously flawed design. I do not know if they have an actual engineer working on this stuff. Uh, this needs to be taken a look at a second time. I am working off of Pentair's uh, YouTube page. Uh, this is a video entitled Introduction to Pentair Pool and Spa Equipment. At 3 minutes 8 seconds, they start introducing their lineup of filters or filter products for your swimming pool. At 3 minutes 8 seconds, they claim these are uh, easy maintenance, just remove cartridges and rinse. However, what they are neglecting to tell you is the design of this filter and uh, the FNS Plus, the Clean and Clear Plus, and and their Quad DE lineup has a major flaw. This has gone on now for years. I don't know if anybody has even brought to their attention that a change is needed. So maybe somebody at Pentair will see this video. Hey, how you doing? You guys suck. Uh, this video in particular was published May 26th, 2016. Um, even by 2016 standards, this video is mediocre. The production value is uh, 1975. Uh, the music is 1980s porn, and uh, the information provided is garbage. So the flaw in the design lies in the placement of the drain plug. Um, again, as in my previous videos and this one, I'm not going to show you any rolling footage. However, I will show you screenshots so that you can reference and authenticate what I'm saying to be true and factual. So the drain plug on these three filters uh, is located underneath the plumbing. Now, whether you elect to have a backwash valve installed or not, you still need to access this drain plug several times a year, three, four, five times a year, depending on your pool usage, environmental factors, and pool traffic. You will notice that the drain plug is located underneath the filter uh, in an upside down configuration, making it very difficult, almost impossible to freely work on this filter and provide the maintenance required. Now, because the drain plug is mounted upside down, it's very difficult to understand which way to turn the drain plug uh, in order to loosen it, the righty tighty lefty loosey thing uh, gets uh, seriously lost because you are bending over the plumbing, uh, usually with a pair of channel locks. The drain plug is of large enough diameter where it cannot be uh, put on or removed by hand. A tool is needed, um, and uh, that's going to be a medium to large pair of channel locks. And when that is placed under the filter, uh, it is almost impossible. You're doing like eighth inch, uh, eighth turns at a time. Uh, so uh, to get in there and really work on this thing um, is uh, a real pain. So clearly Pentair does uh, not work closely with pool technicians or field technicians that actually have to work on this stuff out in the field. Now, my issues with this and my complaints to Pentair is not only that you're uh, producing and making these units available, but why would you engineer something in this way? Why would you uh, even design something quite like this? Uh, why not place the drain plug on the back of the filter where it makes uh, considerably more sense uh, to do that for the people working on these units out in the field? Now, I was going to grab one of my cameras, go out in the field, and do a little production work to show you my particular complaints. However, I simply went to the YouTubes, and I found our friend... Mike the Pool Man, ironically, calling himself Mike the Pool Man. I wonder if he got that from me. He is providing us a video here, how to clean a Pentair Quad DE pool filter, which uses the exact same design. Now, again, I'm not gonna show you any rolling footage here, but I will provide screenshots for reference and authentication. 
So in Mike the Pool Man's video, at 2 minutes and 29 seconds, he's even pointing directly at this drain plug, commenting on the impossible location, the difficulty of accessing it, as well as removing it. At 2 minutes and 35 seconds, our friend Mike the Pool Man from Folsom, California, t grabs his pair of blue channel locks going to remove the drain plug, and because it is installed upside down, he proceeds to tighten the drain plug instead of loosening it. Moving forward in the video at 2 minutes 43 seconds, he realizes he's turning it the wrong way, comments on the ridiculous design of the filter, flips his channel locks over, and then proceeds to remove the drain plug, turning it in the proper direction, loosening it, and then removing it. However, this is a great example that I'm not the only technician and I'm not the only guy out there having these thoughts in the field while I'm approaching uh, you know, my work on these particular units. On Mike the Pool Man's same video at 11 minutes 10 seconds, we can see this is a very congested area. This is a poor design. He's down there busting his knuckles, putting this drain plug on, having to work around the plumbing installed on this particular unit. There is no backwash valve. Believe me, ladies and gentlemen, it's worse with a backwash valve. You then have this uh, push-pull slide type valve that's in the way, um, so it makes it even more difficult to access it with your hand and almost impossible to access with a pair of channel locks. One of my questions to our friends at Pentair is not only why would you engineer a filter this way, but why would you not place the drain plug on the rear of the filter, not only where you have tons of room, but where it can easily be worked on, maintained, and serviced. Now, one filter design that I can completely agree with is one that lies on the PLDE48. In this example, we can see that the drain plug is intelligently located in the rear of the filter. The other thing that has been done on this particular filter design is that the threads of the drain plug are an NPT thread. What does that mean? That means you can actually remove the drain plug, install a MIP or male threaded adapter, and you can simply pipe a ball valve right off the back end of this filter. So not only is the drain plug in an intelligent location, however, it's also done in a way where it can be improved upon, removed, and this makes for expedited service. In a design like this, you can even see that a a, a waste line or a drain line can then be piped off the back of that filter or off the back of that ball valve. Not only is the drain plug in an intelligent location, but it's in a location where the design can then be improved upon. The irony behind that is Pentair, a few years back, actually bought StayRight. So StayRight and Pentair all fall under the umbrella of the same parent company. So let's send a message to Pentair Pool Products and let's start acting like it's 2019. Let's invite some engineers to start working on these particular pool products, we can uh, we have all kinds of room for improvement. Let's get this drain plug out from underneath the bottom of the filter and behind the plumbing and backwash valve if one has been installed. Let's put it on the rear of the filter where it makes tons more sense. It's going to be more easily accessed and serviced. Uh, let's take it a step further and equip these units with NPT threads so some uh, plumbing can be put off the back of these with a, a dump valve and uh, some sort of waistline. And let's start making life easier for everybody involved. This is Mike. Thanks for watching this week's feature how-to and I'll see you on the next one.